In the last several videos, we've been trying to understand uh, sine of x and, uh, and cos of x. And it turns out that sine of x gives us a, uh, a, a wave-like uh, graph looking something like this. And cos of x is the same thing, but it starts up here. So it, it gave us something like this. Okay, um, But there, there's something that I want to point out. Um, there's, there's, a, um, there's a famous saying, uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. Now, I, I think we can extend this and say that where there's pi, where there's pi, there's, uh, there's a circle. Okay, so, so for, for example, hang on, let, let me show you something. Um, so, for example, what, well, what I'm trying to say is where there's pi, there's normally a circle behind it. So, for example, the, the formula for a pendulum, let's say you've got a pendulum here. Hang on, let me draw it neatly. So, uh, whoops, hang on. So, um, so let's say you've got a pendulum here, okay, and, and it's swinging back and forth here. It's swinging back and forth here, like this. Um, let's say the length of the string is L, and uh, gravity, G, uh, G, G is gravity. Let's just say G is gravity, and T, capital T, is uh, the time it takes to make one swing, okay, to, to make a swing from here, up here, and back. That's T. Now, the formula for this is t equals 2 pi uh, root l over g. Now, I've done lots of videos on, on this, so you, you might, if you don't understand this, then, then watch some of the early videos. Well, the formula for, for the time it takes to make one swing is given by, by this here. Now, where there's pi, now there's a pi here, where there's pi, there's a circle. Now, my question is, Given a pendulum swinging back and forth like this, hang on. So given a pendulum where it's swinging back and forth like this, where is a circle? Where there's pi, there's normally a circle. So where is a circle in this situation? So think about it. Um, where can you see the circle behind it? Press pause and and uh, and have a think about it. Press try and see if there's a if you can see where where this where there's a circle somewhere in this situation. Where there's pi, there's a circle. Where is the circle? So press pause and have a think. Okay, so, um, so what the circle is actually this here. Um, it's, it's actually the, the, uh, the path of the pendulum. See, where, when, whenever you see a formula uh, involving pi, there's normally a circle um, behind it all. Okay, so, so here a pendulum is following a, a, a part of a circular path. Okay, the point that I'm trying to make here is look, we, we've been trying to understand um, cos of x and sine of x. Okay, and uh, and sine of x gave us uh, this this wave wave graph, and cos of x ga gave us another wave graph, but uh, a, a, an out of phase version of of the sine graph. Well, anyway, my point is that this um, this thing here gave us a a, a sine a sine wave. Um, uh, so th this here gave us a, a wave-like graph, and this here also gave us a, a wave-like graph. The point that I'm trying to make is that even though even though this is a wave-like graph, there is a circle that connects. Well, that this you see w what I'm trying to make um, to say is that behind this whole wave thing here, there is a circle. So. So circles exist everywhere. So so e even though you've you've got you've got something that 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 looks random, there is actually a circle uh, behind it all. Okay, just just bear that in mind. There there's a connection between. Well, when you look at a pendulum, there's a circle behind it all. Um, here you've you've got something that 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 seems like it has nothing to do or, or connected with circles. There is a circle behind these two graphs. Just bear that in mind, okay?